Okay, uh, I am back, and uh, now I'm using this uh, Logitech webcam. I did some earlier recordings, and I found out they came up horribly uh, bright. I'm not even sure if it's going to be too bright now. I turned all the lights off to try to get a decent perspective. So, uh, <laughs> the only light on in my office room here is this uh, window. And so anyway, that's the way you do it. You um, that procedure to, to open up VLC. Uh, the only difference being <laughs> just the, the audio device, so the way it's uh, described to VLC. And uh, just make sure that you save it. Let me make sure I got cap uh, with the procedure clearly. Is that I went, I opened up the capture device. I put the video name in there, and in my case, it's Dev Video Zero, which I got from the LS minus LF, capital F space Dev uh, Dev Audio, and then a star after the O, <laughs> and then this HW colon I got from Audacity. One comma zero, which I think is it's funny. It, it may be listed that way in the Elza mixer. I'm not sure. Some were buried in there. And then I, you go. You want to say you want to um, st stream it. And then when you go next, the the codecs I happen to have are um, MP4. And once I pick my file. Basically, I click stream and it starts saving it. So let's see, let's call it, you know, whatever. In this case, .mp4. <laughs> I'm not going to do two of them at the same time because that, that's be nuts. <laughs> I, you know, I don't want to break anything. And then you just click stream. You have to make sure that you have the right codecs for MP4. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what codecs I got in here to get this to work. Um, I got FFMPEG. Which may be MPEG. Um, I have some. I search for AAC. Yeah, I think you saw me do some installs when um, I didn't capture every single moment. I've been working on this. Believe me, I've, I've gotten rid of a lot of the, the, the video I've taken. Um, but uh, I, I, knew, I remember searching for this in the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, which you're, you know, most people it isn't going to look this way to get to the Ubuntu Software Center because you're, most people are going to be a gnome but um, hopefully it'll open up yeah okay so I looked for AAC I also made sure that I had the MIDI Ubuntu um, uh, sources list installed you just look that up at Google for apt and MIDI Ubuntu and your version of Ubuntu and you'll most certainly in one of the first five uh, results from Google, you're going to find how to get the, the the software that this person organization uh, has in place for Ubuntu that's not officially supported by Ubuntu, so they don't supply it by default. You have to add the list, but it's easy. It's like a one line copy and paste from that web page into, into the command line and the app get update, and you're ready to go. And then different things that I have in here is I got an AAC encoder. I've got um, AAC gain. I've got Alza. I know you have to have an Alza mixer in there. Um, you probably want to have Audacity installed, VLC. You might as well just go for M player. Just to make sure you get all these codecs. Just keep looking for codecs. You know, search for codecs. Search for you know, and, and do searches to find out you know whatever format that you want to use of the ones that VLC can handle but not without these extra packages you have to install. You, you know, you try to find some guidance as to how you would accomplish that. You know, search Google, get them, get them installed, experiment until you finally get your thing right, and then when you click on stream, it'll save um, the file you have, I think, in your home drive. I'm just gonna make sure. Home Jack, I'll just call it whatever. Okay, maybe you have to specify the, the actual directory. And then um, there's your Kodak stream, and you're done. And then once, what will happen is, is while you're recording, it will keep streaming until such time that you, um, it should tell you you're streaming, like it is for me here. 
and then when you're done you just press the stop key and that's what I'm gonna do now and then I'm gonna load these up and I'm going home uh, hopefully this wasn't too dark I imagine this will be about the right color but uh, if I have the lights on uh, you can't even see half the things I type you can't even see who <laughs> the black letters on a white page so I gotta think about how I'm gonna get this thing tuned right uh, as far as uh, you know video effects and all that and maybe you know maybe I could turn that on and adjust it and mess with it it's gonna take a little while for me to get it where I want it okay I'm done hope you enjoyed and hope this helps